OSINT Defender on Twitter says senior U.S. officials have now revealed an addition, a, addition to the delayed sale of 6,500 joint direct ammunition. Uh, I'm sorry, joint direct attack munition, JDAM kits to Israel worth roughly $260 million last week. The Biden administration has now also paused the delivery of 1,700 Mark 82 500 pound bombs and 1,800 Mark 84 2,000 pound bombs. So this actually is from a couple, this is from the seventh, right? So the idea that he has just threatened to cut Israel off, not true. He actually already cut them off. Corey Mills accused Biden of forcing Israel into a quid pro quo situation by leveraging U.S. dollars against the Israel government's actions in Gaza, drawing parallels to Democrats' first impeachment of former President Trump over his handling of Ukraine aid. I got I, I, I just got to stress this. The, the Democrats argued Trump threatened to withhold aid from Ukraine unless they would dig up dirt to help him politically. Joe Biden is now literally pulling congressionally approved military aid because Israel's moves into Rafah are damaging his his support base. The function is the same. Right? Absolutely. So it's just that it is Donald Trump did X for Y and the exact same thing is being done now. Uh, Joe Biden is doing X for Y. It is the same thing. It is politically motivated. There was someone that uh, was talking giving me grief on the internet because I'd made a remark that he was doing the same thing. And they're like, how can you say the same? It's the same thing. It's like, and it, it, the, the argument was just, Oh, the thing that Trump did was so much worse because the orange man is bad. And it's ridiculous to think that it's ridiculous to try to make that argument. And anyone that does is fundamentally unserious. Well, he's really orange and that's deeply offensive. I mean, I mean know. the defense that I am seeming, seeing, seeing form from the white house right now, you know, John Kirby, the Biden administration spokesperson said, well, Biden, is still going to send military aid. He's just not going to send U.S. military, you know, U.S. weapons to Rafa. So that's good, right? Like the Biden administration is trying to walk. I think on that's every a ridiculous side. lie. It's super. Also, if that's true, that what. Well, that's a, so illogical that it would be like, here, have aid, but don't use it over there. You like, that's not going to happen. Yeah, they're not so the Biden administration that. cannot navigate their way out of this situation. They've been trying to play both sides for too long. And in fact, they're deeply unethical. And so it's not surprising to me. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for Mills for being like, hey, we need to call this out. This is not OK. And if we're supposed to hold one president to one standard, let's apply it to this president who seems to have no idea what's going on. Yeah, and it seems Biden's... It, they're playing both sides, you know, like you said, and I think it has to do with the tremendous pressure and some of these protests and campus and they realize the young vote. I mean, he's, he's dangling, hey, we're going to cancel your your school debts. But he also sees the same people who are extremely passionate about this issue. And so I don't I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to appease them a little bit. He's slipping with the youth vote. Yep. And now he's I, I, it, it feels like. It's it's hard to believe, but it feels like there's no it, it the, the Democratic Party's become a chick, become a chicken with his head cut off. What, like like I was saying uh, earlier, you've got these uh, the donors who uh, it's the it's the Pritzkers, it's Rockefeller, it's Soros, the Soros family. They just keep giving the money; they don't care. But uh, the Pritz the Pritzkers and which is like I think that the Hyatt this, this is a big political report, and uh, Rockefeller cut the funding, so they're probably funding these groups. And then not realizing they're funding it, you saw this with those uh, the billionaires who are giving all these grant all this grant money to universities now pulling that, not realizing what they were funding. But I think that's a good example of it. They were funding it without realizing it that these far leftists hate Israel and they hate the, the U.S. Uh, military policy. Joe Biden's trying to have it both ways. 